Hey guys, welcome to CS Tutorials. I am back with one more video in our PowerShell tutorial series. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can send email using PowerShell scripts. So let's start. As you can see, I already created few variables which I'll use to send email. As in normal email, we need one sender and one receiver. So first two variables from and to are created to store sender and receiver details. Here I have used my gmail accounts. Further two variables subject and body are used to store subject line and body of my email. Next variable SMTP server is used to store server details. As I am using Google account or you can say Gmail account, I have stored value smtp.gmail.com in this variable. Next variable dollar cred is used to store my credentials, username and password. Here I have used get credential commandlet. It will ask for my credentials at runtime. Next variable is port. So for Gmail account, port number is 587. And last but not the least, send mail message commandlet. This commandlet is used to send emails. You can use get help command with it to know more about this command. With this command, few required parameters are to, from, subject, body and SMTP server then credential. As I am using my gmail account, so I also need to provide use SSL and port number these are also mandatory so once I'll execute this command it will ask me my gmail account username and password and if authentication are passed one email will be triggered and I'll receive that email so let's execute this so I am entering my password if these are correct I will get email ok so keep an eye on my gmail account also so here I have received email which was triggered from PowerShell script. You can open and see subject line is mail from CS tutorials and content is hi Dinesh how are you. If you are using your gmail account first time from PowerShell you will get this kind of critical security alert from Google which says sign in attempt was tried from non Google app. To enable this you have to enable access for less secure app. So this is related to Gmail account only if you are using some other SMTP servers, their security guidelines are maybe different. So you need to follow those only. That's all I have for this video. If you find this video helpful, please like it and share with your friends. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.